Uh, we're just doing a small wicket keeping drill here. Same logic, we've got a table. You can use a little slab. Um, you can use a sh shorter table as well. It doesn't, it's not too much to worry about. I'm hoping that people will have something like that at home. Uh, we can even do it on the dining table as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of a keeping exercise here with Tom. Um, and the idea here is that Matt's gonna feed balls from there in the same way. And I'm gonna just skim balls. Now, we've got two things here. If you have a cone at home, it, you can use a cone. If you don't, surely you'll have a batting gloves. So you can use a batting gloves. Again, very important that we don't go to a point where we're getting too close to each other because of this social distancing. So you could start somewhere here. Uh, it's, it's, we're doing it as a wicket keeping drill, but it's also good for fielding and catching practice. So I'm gonna hit a few, and then Tom's gonna to go through a few basic things about what he would like you guys to think about when you're catching. You ready? So we start with the cone. That's a faint edge. Missed it. Oh, yes. Now I'm gonna use the gloves. That was too robust. Whoa. Yay! Okay. So, Tom, what are the things you're looking at in terms of distance? What, you, what would you like the guys to be working on when we're doing this at a shorter distance like that? Well, first of all, I'll just talk about the position that I start in. Now, where I want to be is my left foot to be in line with my off stump, and it needs to be a reaching distance. So that when I take the ball, all I can do is just an extension of the hand to hit, because I don't want to take a step and play, so I don't want to be too far away. Always looking to keep my hands together, get used to working together, not to separate. Then it's going to be a lot harder work to follow and to control that ball when, when catching. Also, when Matt's feeding the ball, are you as a wicketkeeper, even here as a practice, are you looking at my gloves? Or are you looking at that ball coming from there, from the feeder's hand, right up to the gloves? I'm watching the ball all the way. If okay. there's a slight deflection, I am then following that. But my eye is on the ball from Matt's release. Perfect. Also to keep in mind that there's that distance which Tom's talking about. So if I'm a parent who's doing this, please, for safety reasons, you don't want to get that side because then you're getting too close to the fielder. So we maintain that two meter. I can literally stand here. Uh, even if, if, if a mom's feeding the ball, I want Derek, if you can just come this side and just show how Matt's feeding the ball. So if a mom feeds the ball, all you have to do is just skim it on the table and, if, and to hit is simple, watch the ball, just try and, try and find an edge, just try and find an edge, literally try and find an edge, that's all we're trying to do. If you don't find an edge, it doesn't matter, you still keep swinging. If you don't find an edge, it doesn't matter, it's always good. That's it. Simple, easy, again, fun, but all related to reflex and catching. Thanks for watching.